September 3rd, 2003. Jesus. My children, often examine your intentions, seeking purity of your actions. I want you to act from your heart, and when results are not what you hoped for, come back to me and I will console you. Often in your life you will obey me with a predetermined notion of what the outcome will be. My goal or desired outcome may be different than what you expect. Do not allow yourself to be disappointed when events in your life turn out differently than you thought they would. My will is being served if you are doing your best to obey me. Concern yourself only with what I am asking of you. In this way, you can walk in gladness with a light and happy spirit because you are serving your God and doing your part to bring about my kingdom. My child, how grateful I am to you. And what kinship is sent your way from your heavenly comrades? Be joyful. Look to me when you are faced with decisions. At times you will need to look closely at why you are choosing a course of action. I am warning you about this because I want you to begin to discern your own motives. In this way, you can avoid acting from human weakness and seek only the divine or holy in your life. The enemy seeks to interfere with your decision to serve me, but we will not allow any more diversions from your heavenly path. We will together seek only heavenly motivations and your every task and project will further both my will and your soul. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. I allow crosses for your humility and improvement. If you feel a cross is too heavy, you may ask me for relief. I will not be offended by this, my child. And unless it is necessary for you to retain that cross, I will remove either the cross itself or the weight from it. We are united and we can discuss everything. Often you rail against your circumstances, but do not come to me to object. Of what use is complaining to others? They cannot lift your cross or even ease your burdens. Talk to me and listen to others. In that way you will not fall into sins of the tongue which do great damage in this world. I am here waiting to listen to your every complaint. Every sorrow you suffer finds a warm, comfortable place in my heart, and truly, when you share sorrow with me, it is diminished. I want to give you eyes of heaven. I want you to see your life, this world, and its people with these heavenly eyes, so that you will begin to respond like me, your Jesus, who loves you so dearly. My child, I am offering this new vision to you. Will you accept this wonderful gift from me? Truly, you will be astonished at how this viewpoint will change your life. Most of what disturbed you in the past will simply fade away out of your line of vision because it will hold such little importance for you. Do you want this? I am so hopeful that you will say yes. I want so badly to show you the world from my eyes. I can teach you such great things, my dear one. And if you share my vision, we can talk as freely as one soul. Be this for me, 
please allow me to dictate your perspective. 